The Civic has been a mainstay in Honda's lineup since it hit the market in 1972. Its 10th generation rolled out in 2015. Over the decades in between, the Civic became a global success for Honda, now ranking among the 10 best-selling cars in the world. Contest to Andre Zimmerman points to the broad selection buyers have in the compact class, like the Hyundai i30 or the Opel Astra or the VW Golf, but intense competition has pushed them to become too similar, making them rather conventional and even a bit stuffy. Here, Japan's Honda Civic is a breath of fresh air. In its early models, the Civic II was fairly conventional. Then in 2005, the designers started developing more distinctive versions of their bestseller, with contours recalling something between a race car and a spaceship. The low, tapered rear hatch gives it a fastback's profile, set off with not one, but two spoilers. Inside, Honda's put in state-of-the-art digital displays. and an entirely button-free sat-nav, and placed even more controls on the steering wheel. The first thing Andre notices about the Civic is the low seats. It feels more like climbing into a sports car than a compact. On the road, of course, the low seats reinforce the sports car feeling, and he misses that in other compacts. The test car starts quite conventionally with the turn of the key. The 2,900 Euro Sport Plus and higher trims change that to a push-button ignition with adaptive dampers. Andre notes that the Honda Civic's interior digital instrument cluster displays a great variety of information, but it doesn't offer a virtual cockpit with a sat-nav, like the VW Compact list as an option. But the boost pressure indicator is fun. A scale from zero to plus may not be much of a technical upgrade, but it is somewhat satisfying to watch the boost pressure rise. Was Ladedruck angeht, nicht wirklich relevant ist, macht es doch Spaß, dem Ladedruck beim Wachsen zuzusehen. In response to increasing demands for efficiency, Honda has also turned to turbocharging. The variable valve timing system VTEC is used to enhance performance in the high rev range. Now it's been optimized for turbocharging with electronic wastegates and smaller turbines that turn efficiently at low rev ranges. That adds up to a far more responsive accelerator pedal. Honda rates fuel consumption at 5.8 liters of premium per 100 kilometers. This is combined with a very direct shift, typical for Honda, but to Andre's taste is occasionally a bit notchy. An extra 1,300 euros equips the Civic with a CVT automatic transmission. Taking this option automatically adds the low speed follow feature to adaptive cruise control, so in slow moving traffic the Civic will keep a set distance to the vehicle ahead. Even if the Civic's engine does somewhat resemble a race car when Andre opens it up, Honda hasn't scrimped on safety. The range of standard assistance systems is quite broad. Among them is the traffic sign recognition, a lane keeping assist, and a collision warning and mitigation braking system. The entry-level Civic comes with all these safety features and starts at less than 20,000 euros in Germany. The Honda Civic is a marriage of maverick design and practical features.